Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about density based methods topic. Okay, so what is meant by density based methods? How the clustering can be done based upon the density, based upon the density or what is meant by density? First of all, density means wherever we are having the more number of points are there, that is nothing but the more number of data points are there, that is called as my density connected points. So, how we are going to do the clustering based upon the notion of the density. What are the major features of the density based methods means uh, we have to discover the clusters, uh, we can discover the clusters of the arbitrary shapes also. That means your shape can be S shape or uh, it can be U shape or it can be M shape or whatever it may be the shape, we can discover the clusters of any type of arbitrary shape to the clusters and uh, we can ha handle the noisy data also. If you observe K-means algorithm or K-medoids algorithm, it is very sensitive to the noisy data. So, but we can handle the noisy data in the density based methods also. And we can do the one scan of your entire data set here. So, no need of doing the many number of iterations on the given data sets. With the help of one single scan only, we can scan our entire data set. But we have to know few terminologies for this density based methods. So, what are those density parameters that which we are having means? Uh, these are the two parameters that which we are having. What is the two parameters? First one is we have to know what is meant by epsilon. What is meant by epsilon and uh, what is meant by the minimum points? What is meant by the epsilon here? Epsilon will always gives you the maximum radius of the given neighborhood value. Maximum radius of the given neighborhood value will gives you the epsilon. See here, if you say uh, take this particular circle here, uh, this is my point P and this particular radius will gives you the epsilon value. This particular radius will gives you the epsilon value. So, this is my radius here. This is my radius of my epsilon value. And uh, what is my the minimum points here? Minimum points means a uh, minimum number of points in an epsilon neighborhood of that points. That means if you take a particular point P here, surrounding that P, how many number of minimum points are there? If you observe this particular point P, how many number of minimum points are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, all these uh, 4 points are there. But what is my minimum number of points? 5. And what is my epsilon neighborhood value? That is the 1 centimeter is my epsilon neighborhood value. And if you take this particular point Q here, uh, for this particular point Q here, what is my neighborhood value here? This is my 1 centimeter epsilon neighborhood value. And surrounding this particular point Q, how many number of points are surrounding this particular point Q? Many number of points are there. So, your minimum points, minimum number of points, it is going to exceed it here. So, this is called as the minimum number of points. So, these two terminologies are very, very important in the density based methods. So, how we are going to write mathematically means for a particular point P, for a particular point here, what is the epsilon neighborhood value means Q should belongs to your given data set and always your distance that means the distance between this point P and point Q it, it should be less than the epsilon value it should be less than the epsilon value then only we can say that a particular point P is within the neighborhood of Q within the neighborhood of Q. And one more important point what is meant by directly density reachable what is meant by directly density reachable. So, when we can say that a particular point P is directly density reachable to the point Q. So, if that is also with respect to the minimum points and with respect to the epsilon neighborhood. First, P should belong, P should be there in the epsilon neighborhood of Q. P should be there in the epsilon neighborhood of Q and your Q must be a core point condition. Q must be your core point condition. What is that core point condition? Your Q value always it should be greater than the minimum points. Yes, Q is there in the epsilon neighborhood and Q is having the minimum number of points also. So, we can take this particular Q as my core point. We can take this particular Q as my core point. Then I can say that a point P is directly density reachable to the point Q. To the point Q. Next, few terminologies, again few more terminologies are there here that is the 
density reachable and the density connected. So, what is meant by density reachable? See here, I am having a, again, I have to know what is the terminology of the density reachable and density connected. So, if you observe these uh, three circles here, I am having the point P is there, point Q is there and in between I am having one more point P is there. But I have to see whether my particular point P is a density reachable to the point Q. So, how I can say here means, uh, first, uh, I have to check uh, whether my point Q is uh, within the epsilon neighborhood of the point P1. P1, no, uh, the point P1, it should be within the epsilon neighborhood of Q. And again, Q should have the minimum number of points. Then, I can say that uh, Q is uh, directly connected to the P1. Q is directly connected to the P1 here. And if you take this particular point P1 again, P1 always it should be within the epsilon neighborhood of P and P always again, P1 it should contains the minimum number of points. P1 always it should contains the minimum number of points. Then I can say that P1 is directly density reachable to the point Q, but we can't say that P is directly density reachable to the Q. But why? Because we are having a intermediate points are there like P1. So, P will be directly density reachable to the Q and P is directly density reachable to the P1. Then we can say that P is directly density reachable to the Q. So, this is called as density reachable. Then what is meant by density connected? What is meant by how we can say that a point P is density connected to the point Q means. See, if you observe here, uh, in between I am having one more point is there that is the O and uh, but still we can't say that P is directly density connected to the Q. Why? Because if you see many number of intermediate points are there. So, this particular point P it should be within the epsilon neighborhood of the O and it should contain the minimum number of points. Then only I can say that P is a directly density reachable to the O and in the same way O should be directly density reachable to the Q. Then I can say that point P is density connected to the point Q here. These two terminologies are very, very important. And next we will see what is meant by the DB scan algorithm. Let's see what is meant by the DB scan algorithm. See what is meant by the DB scan algorithm means it completely depends upon the notion of the density. So a cluster is defined as a maximum set of density connected points are there when we can say a cluster means uh, when we are having the more number of density connected points are there then we can say that we can frame the cluster here and uh, we can discover the clusters i told you in the first slide itself that we can cluster we can uh, find the we can discover the clusters which are in the arbitrary shapes also that means it can be u shape or it can be s shape or any other shaped um, clusters also we can find out that is also along with the noise and uh, we will see what is meant by, see here again three more terminologies are there. One is a core point, one is a border point and one is an outlier point. So, when I can consider a point, a particular point as a core point here. So, if you observe, if I, I am going to consider this particular point here. So, what is my minimum conditions? My epsilon value should be 1 centimeter and my minimum point should be the 5, five points. So, if you consider this particular thing here, this is my epsilon neighborhood value and how many number of points are there? Point 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, total 5 points are there. So, then I can say my uh, this particular point as a core point. This particular point as a core point. But if you observe this particular point here, so it is going to satisfy the epsilon condition but no minimum points are there for this particular point. So, this can be treated as my border point. This can be treated as my border point. Okay. And the next, let's see what is meant by an outlier point. What is meant by outlier point here? If you consider outlier point means it is not within the core point or not within the border point. That means it will not satisfy any of the condition like your epsilon neighborhood value or your minimum point. Such type of points can be considered as the outliers. Such type of points can be considered as the outliers. Then, how your DB scan algorithm will work? See, see, these are my arbitrary shaped clusters here. So, I am going to select one point P here. 
So for this particular point P, I will check all the points which are density reachable from P with respect to the epsilon value and the minimum number of points. How many number of points which are directly density reachable to the point P, that point I am going to select with respect to the epsilon and the minimum points. So if P will becomes as a core point means definitely I am going to form the cluster. Surrounding this P, how many number of data objects are there? With that data objects, we can form the cluster here. Suppose if B is a border point, then no points are there from the which are directly density reachable to the from the P. So what I will do again your DB scan algorithm, it is going to visit to the next point in the database. That means we are going to ignore this P value and I will go for the next other point and I will check whether I can form the cluster or not. And this process will be repeated until all the points will be processed in the given data sets. Next, if you observe, see here, this is the DB scan uh, algorithm where this is sensitive to the parameters. What are my parameters here? Epsilon value, epsilon neighborhood is one parameter and I am having the minimum points as the another parameter. So, if you observe here, um, this is my epsilon value where I am having my epsilon value as uh, 0 0.5 and here in this figure, uh, 0 0.4. So, um, as um, wherever, wherever I am having the more epsilon value is there, I got the very good clusters here. The quality of the clusters is very good. If you observe this particular uh, shape or this particular circle shape or any other shapes, I got the very good clusters and I can able to figure out uh, how many number of red color points are there. So, here I easily I can say that I am going to get the good clusters here. But if you observe this particular resolution, I do not have proper clarity in retrieving the clusters here. And uh, if you see the below diagram also, see this uh, these diamond shaped clusters, I am having the varying number of epsilon values are there. So, here in this particular figure, my epsilon value is 5 and here it is 3.5 and here it is 3. So, what I can do? So, here uh, for the 0.5, I got the very good clusters, but here the medium quality of the clusters is in the medium way and here I got a very bad quality clusters. That means your DB scan algorithm, it is completely based upon your changing value of your epsilon value and the minimum number of points. So, finally, I can say that it is very sensitive to the, all the parameters. So, hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.